the thing that uh, gets students at, at uh, Stetson engaged with Professor Nagel's uh, material or whatever class she's teaching is her teaching style. The way she brings the material in class is brought in in a variety of different ways. I do a lot of emphasis on class discussion. The students need and must be engaged in my classes. I learned that Professor Nagel was teaching this advanced seminar on um, national security and global terrorism. It's by far the most interesting and challenging class that I have taken uh, with Professor Nagel. And this advanced seminar um, is taught at such a high level and with such a high expectation from students. Uh, one of her favorite phrases is to say, you know, you guys are going to be lawyers soon, so I need you to think like attorneys. So instead of just thinking, wow, this event that happened, for example, a genocide somewhere, that's awful. Instead of thinking that's awful, you know, these human rights violations are awful, you begin to think of, as an attorney, what can I do in this situation? Where does the law come in? The law is not just empty. It's not just about norms. The law is a compilation of so many other disciplines and it's very important for the students to see that relationship with sociology, with anthropology, with criminology. One of the more interesting uh, things about uh, working in, in that sense, in, in that area, is in brainstorming uh, different events that might uh, contribute to the students' experience in law school. We try to think of, of issues and individuals that might uh, inspire students to get involved in, in international law issues or at least be aware that in their practice they're going to be encountering these issues that have international ramifications. My interest was always kind of in international law, um, just as a, a fun hobby, but through meeting and interacting with Professor Nagel, I've seen how it actually functions and, and its importance in today's globalized world. To teach a class overseas on a subject matter that has to do with the host nation, it's so crucial for the students because they will be learning in a laboratory. Like going, for example, to Argentina to teach um, the subject matter on the children of the disappear was something fascinating for the students because during the class discussions, uh, we will look at different laws that were in place, or we will look at what was going on in Argentina during that period of time. And then just going outside the classroom environment and visit the museums and visit the places that were the ones in which a lot of the events took place it was an eye-opener for the students. It was amazing for the students to see uh, that what they were reading about, it was just alive in front of them. The Desaparecidos was, was a very interesting, provocative, and, and unique topic that I had really no exposure to, and I, I looked forward to, to taking it, and, and it was an incredible class, a really amazing experience. I develop a lot of problems from current events, and that's why I'm, I'm constantly reading about what's the latest, what's happening, uh, with what's going on in Europe, with it, what's going on in Syria, for example. The UN Charter that if you read it, just read it, it's boring. So you need just to tell the students, look, that aspect of the law that you're reading has an application now. So I'm constantly developing um, hypotheticals or developing questions from what's going on so that the students will be engaged on that.